first of all, one thing I've already emphasized, if you're going to do this, I don't care what you're writing about. I don't care if you're writing about your next door neighbor, your grandfather, your dog. I don't care what it is. You have to care about the story you want to tell. If you're not passionate about telling that story, why would anybody else want to read it? Number one. Number two, what I said before, what my father also taught, if you're going to do this, focus on telling, and again, I'm repeating myself, telling a good story. Don't teach a lesson. Don't do a nudge, nudge, wink, wink about politics. I mean, no, just tell a good story, no matter what it's about. You know, there, there's all kinds of other things. One thing I tell people writing a novel, uh, and I've had this conversation often, if you're going to tell me a story of some historical thing, if you're going to write historical fiction, take me there. Don't just tell me what happened. Put me there. One of the best reviews of my father's book, of the Killer Angels I ever saw, said, the guy said, for the first time, I felt I knew what it smelled like. Wow. Yeah. Fabulous compliment. Okay. Keep that in mind. What does it smell like? You know, show what does it look like? What does it feel like? Don't just say, well, then, you know, then he went up the hill and then there was a house and he went in the house. No. You know, did he trip and fall? I mean, what did the grass smell like? What, what, what was the sky looking like? One thing I, I don't want to get anybody to do, because I had an editor try to do this to me once, what my father referred to, excuse the expression, verbal diarrhea. You know, don't load up your sentences with every adjective you could think of. Right. That doesn't make it better. <laughs> you know, it just clogs it up. Just put yourself there. You know, when I'm, when I've said this often, when I'm writing a, an historical scene between, I mean, you know, pick somebody, George Washington and, 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 and John Adams, or between George Patton and Dwight Eisenhower, I'm in the room. Put myself in the room, and then I just tell you what I see and hear. You know, that, you have to get to that point. I guess the, the, the cliche lesson that they teach in, in journalism school is show it, don't tell it. Well, that, that applies very definitely, especially to writing fiction. Show it, don't tell it. And that, you know, that's probably the best advice there is. This is the one question I get that I hate. When people ask me, what is the secret to writing a bestseller? <laughs> First of all, I have no idea. That I don't think there is one. But second of all, if that's your motivation, if you're going into this because you want to be J.K. Rowling or Stephen King, don't waste your time. You know, you, you have to have a passion for something other than making money. You know, it has to be something about the storytelling.